Good morning. <laughs> Let me introduce Thank myself. You for showing up. Gotta do that. Hi, I'm Kelly. Thank you for showing up for my trifecta workout. It's episode number 32. So it's full, full body today, strength training, three rounds of five moves, and then we'll move on and we'll do some cardio hit. So I like to get the strength training done first and then move on to some cardio hit before we take it to the mat All for right. some core training. So now hold right here and bring your right leg back, set your knee down. Let's do riz lizard with rotation. So lizard just means, this is a yoga pose called lizard pose. And it's a low lunge, your hips are shifted forward, hand on the floor and reach the arm up and then bring it underneath. Reach up and then rotate. So notice what you're feeling, the reason why we're doing this, rotating the arm under and then lifting the arm up, rotation at the trunk, filling your hip and your shoulder and your leg, breathe, one more, and then ham hamstring stretch for a moment, put your foot flat, inhale and reach. Bring it back. Put your foot flat, inhale, reach, and bring it back. Do it two more times, right there, and flex, and reach up, and then set your knee down, let's do the other side. Hand on the floor, reach the arm up on the, with the knee, or the, with the side that you have your leg forward. Reach up and bring it underneath. Reach up and bring it underneath. So full rotation, opening up the chest, the arm, and then bring it under and reach. Do it two more times. One more time. All right, so then look down, flex your foot, your toes pull towards your forehead, put your foot flat, inhale, reach up, flexors, hamstring, flexors, hamstring, press your heel down, flexors. Bring it back one more time. Good job. Okay, so now we're going to sit down on the floor and lie down all the way. Where are you, Maxwell? <laughs> all right. Oh, goodness. Glute bridge. So put your feet on the floor, palms on the floor, shoulders. You guys, pull, tuck your shoulders underneath you. So press down the blades, palms on the floor, feet on the floor about hip width, and lift up and lower. Lift and lower. Glute bridge to activate the glute muscles. Warm up the, the glute fibers, large muscle, breathe, lift. So exhale and inhale. Do that four more times, four, three, two. And now we're gonna do a staggered glute bridge. Bring your right heel forward, just staggered a little forward of the left foot and then lift up, pressing primarily in the, in the, right, the left foot, lifting up and down. So 10 of these. Five more. Squeeze, squeeze, three more. Two, and then one, lower down. Also the hamstring, feel the hamstring working. Stagger the left foot forward, press into your right foot, lift, and lower, lift, and lower. I just got right into the program, didn't I? <laughs> With a warm up. I didn't introduce myself. Knee pointing straight up, lift up. Five more, five, four, three, two, and then one. Good, okay, so now roll up. Grab your roller. Let's roll out the glute. So sit on the mat on the one side. 
and then put your legs over, hands behind your hips, right? Then lift up, put the glutes right there. All right, so one thing is, some people might find it hard to go into this figure four like that, right? So if that's a problem, you can just stay right here and just roll the glute. And you're just thinking about the space where your pocket would be. If you had a pair of pants on, rolling out the pocket. And then you just go onto one side and roll a couple of times and then roll a couple of times on the other side. If you can, go into this figure four position with your legs. And then you're getting, getting this nice stretch in the hip and the IT band as you roll that pocket right there. They roll out the glute right there. Turn, I have my fingers turned out. That makes my shoulders in a good position. Rolling and then that forward, good. Nicely done. So just like 10 of these rolls and then we'll go to the other side. So the idea is that doing a primary move for a muscle, like those glute bridge um, moves, and then rolling the muscle can potentially get, wake up the fibers or the muscle more, wake up the nervous system or um, the nerves around that muscle creating a little more, more mobility in the moves once we get to them. So taking a little more time for the warm up to increase range of motion. That's why we're doing this. Increased range of motion, better strength gains. Four more, <laughs> three, two, and then one. Good, now let's go back to the other side. Ankle on your knee, roll it out. 10, nine, eight, seven, <laughs> six, good, five. Look forward, four. Think about that muscle, three, two, and then one. Chain sides, ankle on knee, lean over into that side, and then roll out the pocket. One, two, three, four. Good, five, six. We're gonna use a mini bend next. Seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, roll over on the other side. Carefully come up, move the roller, grab your mini band. If you don't have one of these, you should get one. It's good for many, many um, methods for warming up the upper body and lower body. So I'll be working with these throughout the year. So I want you to get one, especially if you're showing up for this program with me. So for this, arms, elbows in, reach forward, and I'm pressing out into my wrists the whole time. So the band is around my wrists, palms facing out, pa or palms facing in, back of the hands facing out. Bring it in, and then reach. So my arms are straight ahead, parallel to the floor. You gotta get your chicken, get your chicken, and I'll let you out, go, get it. Reach and pull, reach and bring it in. See, now you're not going anywhere, are you? <laughs> Good, reach and bring it in, reach and in. Pick up your pace, reach. Ah, the sun is rising. Oh, there's no snow. <laughs> reach. I was hoping to see a foot of snow. Just kidding. I knew that wasn't going to happen. Reach. Reach. How you feeling? All right. Do it again. Four more. Three. Press your hands out. Two. 
and one. Reach up all the way. And now lean over to the left. Press your feet down. Press your hands out. Or your wrists out. Lean over. Nicely done. Reach. And then lean. Reach up. And then lean. And let's do that one more time. So think two rounds of movement to warm up the muscles. Engage, activate. Here we go. Reach in, reach in, out. Elbows to your sides. Pull the blades back. Warming up the shoulders and the arms. You should already be feeling it. Reach. Press your wrists out. The whole time, reach, reach. Again, now eight more. Eight, seven, good. Six, five, three, two. All right, reach up. Press it out and lean. Lateral flexion. Now turn your chin. Inhale, reach and lean, and turn your chin, inhale, reach, and lean, and then turn your chin, inhale, reach, lean over, and turn your chin, nicely done, inhale, all right, let's get rid of this, shake it off, okay, so, inhale, and just reach up and stretch overhead, one time, exhale, bring your arms down, make sure you have Medium to heavy weight. I want the medium weight for more for your upper body and then the heavier weight for a lower body. And we're going to start the program. I have us on a timer. We're just doing about 10 to 12 reps, so not too quick of pace. If you've got lighter weights, you can pick up your pace. Okay, so biceps and triceps. Pick up more of your medium weight. I'm gonna pick up tens here to start off with. Bicep curls, palms forward, shoulders back, palms up, lift up, and then lower, up. Stagger your feet, you guys, one forward and one back. So you take the rocking out of the movement. Elbows into your sides are drawn in. And then you can kind of tip your chest forward just slightly, but keep your shoulders back. Drop, don't drop the shoulders forward, just kind of lean forward slightly so you're working the bicep right there. Curl, curl. So see the angle. Good. All right, triceps. We're gonna take these overhead. If you've got two heavy weights, put them together like that. Reach up and stagger your feet. Bring it back. Bring it behind the head. Head and lift up. Down and up. Draw your elbows towards your head or towards your ears. Engaging, working the triceps. So the extension of the arms is where the work happens. Lowering down slowly and then lift up, lower down, lift up, chin neutral, lower, and lift, good. So opposing muscle groups, biceps, and then triceps. Okay, single leg RDL. Put these weights down, grab one heavier dumbbell. I'm gonna grab a 12, you can go up to 15s if you've got that. Standing in your left leg, you're gonna reach your right leg back. And just test it out first. That first one, figuring out balance, your nervous system, figuring out what you're doing and adapting. Shoulders back, leg goes back, reach the dumbbell down towards the floor. Leg goes up at the same time your body goes forward. Same thing happens coming back up. Leg and body moves at the same time time to that standing position lift up so you're pressing down into your foot feel your foot in the shoe especially your toes all right changing sides 
Opposite leg, hand at your hip, shoulders back. Look forward, so slowly, just get right into it. Test it out, see how you're doing on that side. You'll find that one side is definitely stronger than the other. And it's common to have a little bit stronger balance on the left hip, the left leg, than the right. Lower, and then bring it up. <laughs> Keep your balance. Reach. It's also about confidence, knowing or feeling confident that you can balance as you reach down. And then bring it back up. Good job. All right. So we're going to take it down to a kneeling position. Bring the weight into, or hold the weight in the side with your knee down. Palm facing in, and then press and turn the pump forward at the top. So we did these on Monday, and I like the, doing these a lot because you got a combination going on core training while you're working the shoulder. So that weight goes up and then right beside the chin coming down. Don't bring the elbow all the way down to your side. Just right there. Lift. Good job. Right there. And then lift up. Good. So if you're on a mat, on a hard surface, double up your mat. I'm on this nice, comfortable, thick exercise mat, so try not to be distracted by being uncomfortable. Focus on the movement. Turn your palm forward, bring that weight down about to the chin height, right there. Good. Slow and controlled. Place your hand on your thigh right here, press, and down. Again, if you've got lighter weight, you can pick up your pace, heavier weight, slow it down, control the movement. When the weight becomes a struggle, then really slow it down, and maybe that's where you stop. You don't want to struggle through the movement, but you're feeling it. Excellent, okay. So bent over row, pick up, or keep this one weight. Actually, I'm gonna pyramid up to my 15 pounds. So one heavier weight, not to be confusing, heavier weight, feet on the floor, bend your knees, hinge forward, Bring that weight on the inside of your lower leg, or that left leg. Pull the weight up. My abs are contracted the whole time. And come up on the ball of your foot back there, then you'll increase the core work lift. Stabilizing the body, pull the elbow up, reach to the side, and down. Lift. Breathe. Keep your balance. Pull the elbow up, clears the spine right there. Good job, okay, let's change sides. So let's do it together, one foot forward, one foot back, opposites, right? So then look forward, bend your knees, lean forward as far as you can, hand here on the thigh, ball of your foot back there, lift, reach, up, and reach, up. Pull your shoulder blade up, lift. Work in the lat, strong muscle in the back, lift, up. Good job, lift it up and reach, lift. Good job. All right, pick up two medium heavy weights, renegade row. I know. This move, this move will make you tough. But I want you to start here on your knees. Unless you know what you're doing, start on your knees. So toes tucked under, abs in, row, and then do one push up. Row, stabilize your hips 
and then push up. Alternate, alternately, full plank, keep the hips level, row, feet wide, and then push up, row, push up, row, push up. Do it again. Nicely done. Bring it in. Stand up. Ready? Second round. So I've got 12s, biceps, triceps. So here we go, shoulders back. Let's hammer curl up and down. Same thing applies. Elbows into your sides, pull in your front ribs, stagger your feet. Right there, good job. Breathe. Slight pitch forward. Gaze forward, chin neutral, you guys. Up, lift, do it again. Going to triceps. I'm gonna get one heavy dumbbell. If you can pyramid up to one heavy, do that. Otherwise, two lighter. I'm gonna get a 20 right here. It's basically like the two tens that I was holding. It's a little bit different, a little easier, one dumbbell, but you can also control one dumbbell better. Going behind the head, lift and lower. Lift and lower, reach. Bring the arms close to your ears, pull, pull in your front ribs, lift, lift, squeeze, squeeze, good, lift, press. So just think about the muscle you're working, the back of the arms, triceps, feeling it in your shoulders also, I know, but primarily triceps. Pyramid to one heavy dumbbell, single leg RDL. Looking forward, shoulders back first, right there. Then reach, and right where you feel the hamstring, let's stop right there and then bring it back up. You don't have to touch the floor, but the goal to stay balanced so that's what you're working on, goal balance, and then hinging forward with strength. Lift up. Notice your, the standing foot. Are you collapsing in on the arch side of your foot? Be aware of stabilizing by the standing leg. All right, opposite hand at hip. Shoulders back, look forward first. Reach and then lift. So when the leg goes back, keep your toes pointing down and lift up. It's hard to even know what your toes are doing back there, right? So with your perception, your mind's eye, abs in, think, hard. Turn the toes down, lift the leg up, and then lift up. Bring it up, do it again. Ah, nicely done. Okay, kneeling with a rotation. I'm gonna stay with my 15 pound here, so I've gone up a little bit from 12s to 15s. So one foot, one leg forward, one leg back. Reach, loose grip, reach. Hand at your thigh, stabilize, press, press. Abs in the whole time, good. Press and bring it down to the side of your ear, about the same level as your chin. You have, if you pyramid it up, you should be feeling this right here. Straight arm at the top. Come on. 
Excellent. Let's change sides. Opposite foot forward. Bring this weight to your shoulder or right up. Palm facing in. Hand at your thigh. Press carefully. Pull it down or bring it down. Lift. Working the shoulder, the deltoids. Up and down. Primarily medial deltoid. Lift, frontal, lift, press straight up. A little posterior, press. Excellent work. All right, bend over row. Pyramid up, heavier weight. Just one weight. I grabbed two for some reason, <laughs> just one. So stagger your feet, back flat, hinge forward, up on the ball of the foot back there, reach and down, reach. You could also double your weight like that. Pull it up, then do less reps, right? Up and down. Now really working right there. Knee in the front over the ankle. Good job, come on. Pull. Excellent. All right, let's change sides. So I'm going to start with a lighter, and I might add lighter meaning one dumbbell. So one foot back, bend, hinge, hand at the thigh, lift up, up. Start like this, elbow into your side, pull it up, reach down and pull. So feel the stretch and the reach of the arm, reach, stretch out. Bring it up, and if you want to, pyramid up. Do a few reps heavier. Come on, up. Nicely done. All right, renegade row. Makes you tough, all <laughs> right? Okay, start on your knees. Stabilize the hips by contracting your abs. Do a push up, bring it up, stabilize row. You wanna have the weight underneath the shoulders. So don't have them forward. It's easy to do that, especially when you're on your knees. So you have to pay more attention to the position. Otherwise here, push up. Top, stabilize, lift, do it again. Up, push up, beautiful. Third round, we're already there guys. Biceps and triceps, bring it up. Curl, so let's do a rotation. Curl, and then down. Palms up, and then facing in like this. Curl, stagger your feet, pull in your front ribs. Nicely done, come on. Strength training, you guys. It should be challenging. Maybe you think about getting, finding some weights, heavier weights if it's time to lift heavier. Make a little progression. Triceps. I'm gonna pick up that one, 20 pound. Up and over my head, behind. Thumbs under the end. Lower and lift. If you got lighter weight, you can go a little faster than this. 
breathe. Sit the thumbs underneath the end of the dumbbell to equally distribute that weight. Lower down and press. Good job, come on. Lift. Stretch the arms up. Look forward, don't drop your chin. Lift. Up. Three, two, and then one. Set that down. Rest. Moving on. So single leg RDL. You probably already knew that as I was getting there. <laughs> All right, ready? Hand at your hip. Get your balance, shoulder back. Shoulders back right there. Lower. So the temp tendency when you reach the arm is to roll the shoulder forward, but keep it in its socket, down, and you're just kind of leaning forward and reaching the dumbbell as the leg goes up. Good job, come on. Reach and lift. Let's change sides. Hand at your hips, shoulders back. So, standing. Press down into your toes, your feet, your heel. Feel the foot in your shoe. And then lift up. Do that again. Shoulder back. And then lift. Abs in. Chin neutral. Look forward when you come up. Toes point down. Whoop. You may get a wobbly one in there. And then bring it up. Slow and controlled. Plenty of time to move through it. Three, two, and one. Excellent work. Kneeling with rotation. Pyramid up or go down a little bit. So one arm at a time. Start with the dumbbell facing your chin and then you'll turn it out at the top. Bring it up right there. Slow and controlled. Lift. Increasing definition. Slow and controlled movement. Increasing strength. Definition, that nice rounded shoulder cap right there. Good. Come on. Press. Ha. That's it. Good. So you want to work towards finding your weight sweet spot, right? So right here for me, one arm under overhead. overhead. For that amount of reps, 15 is right for me. Press. That very last one, I can make it all the way with a straight arm with just enough, or with, with form, just enough struggle, not too much. Press straight up. So ideally you wanna find that place. Don't just stay with lighter weights, but graduate forward. Don't just start lifting heavier weights. And then you'll find where you just you're good, and then you have progress by just being consistent and sticking with the program. All right, bring it up. Single arm row. So I'm gonna stay with this, 15. Stagger, bend, hinge, right, right here. Pull it up. So I'm really trying to not Jolt or with momentum, pull the weight up. Use the lat. So you gotta think about that muscle that you're working right here. That's important. It's hard to engage the lat in the movement. So reach and stretch it out. Fill the muscle right there, stretch, and then pull it up. Stretch, pull it up, stretch. 
pull it up, reach, pull it up, reach, pull it up. Good. Let's change sides. Stagger your feet first, look forward, stand tall, then bend your knees, lift that heel on the back, hand at your thigh, reach the dumbbell, get all fingers on one side of the dumbbell, lift and then reach, lift and reach. Up. Abs in. Lift it up. Nicely done. Come on. Up. Up. Lift. Excellent. Come on. Up. Pump. Excellent. Last move. Here's your power move. Or that move that makes you makes you tougher. Good to have good to do this, right? Need one, at least one major move. Let's do it. Ready? Knees are up. Push up. Stabilize first. Row. Row. Keep your hips level. Anti-rotation. So don't drop the hip on one side. Keep it stable. So tough, man. Almost there. Come on. Last one. And you did it. Nicely done. Let's move those weights out of the way. Grab some water. So drink plenty of water, right? Because your muscles need water. And your blood flows better whenever you're more hydrated, right? So let's do, let's be smart about this. So my program, my high intensity program is, get that behind my ears, it's high intensity but low impact, or I try to keep it low impact. And you can do that too, I'll offer you suggestions. I may offer a little bit of a hop here and there, but just try, give it a try, and um, we'll get through it, okay? So we're already warmed up, let's go. Starting, done. Starting session. All right. First thing to do, we're just gonna do a knee grab. All right, there, lift it up. Reach that knee. So stretch out the lower back right there so you can get into this tap, tap. And you sweep your arms side to side. Now, tap ankle, ankle, knee, knee. Ankle, ankle, knee, knee. So this reminds me of hacky sack. I call this to myself hacky sack. But it's knee, knee, foot, foot. Now get into a faster rhythm. That'll get your heart rate up. Coordination. Mind challenging. Knee, knee, ankle, ankle. Nicely done. Okay, so now let's bring it down. We've got seven moves, you guys, that we're going through. We're going to do three rounds. It progressively gets harder, of course. So here we're going to do two push ups and then a pike or downward dog. All right, so do two push ups, body weight only. And then a downward dog. Reach those heel, reach the heels towards the floor. And downward dog. If you need to look up here and see what downward dog or pike looks like, do that. Look right here. Hips up and then back. Arms straight. There we go. Abs in. Don't drop your head. Pike. Again. Chest down 
and lift. Downward dog. Beautiful job. Step in. Okay. Keep, bring it back down. <laughs> we got two in a row on the mat. Here, reach your, get your knee underneath your hip, your hand underneath your, your shoulder, reach the left leg, right arm, right there. Elbow touches your knee, and then touch your foot. Okay? Knee, reach, and touch. Reach. Do it again. So staying balanced you guys, by spreading your fingers, and I've got my toes tucked under on, on the kneeling side, or the knee that's down. So my toes tucked under, I think that makes it more stable in tennis shoes. So knee to elbow, and then foot to hand to foot. Elbow knee, hand foot. Do it again. Excellent. Let's do the other side. So fan your fingers like a starfish. Your arm, shoulder back. So pull that shoulder back. Don't do this right there. And leg straight back. Tuck your toes and reach. Touch. Feel that. Crunch. And then touch. Good. Elbow to the knee. And touch. Good. Elbow to knee. Reach. Touch, flat palm, reach, reach, bring it in. So just having the palm, fingers straight, palm facing out. Touch, reach, and touch, reach, bring it in. One more time, excellent work. Nicely done. It's a little bit of hamstring work right there. Okay, here we go. Lunge jack and overhead clap. We'll start light or start, start low. So rear lunge and then feet together. Reach up, put your hands together. Right there. Alternating, palms up. And then go to split lunge, reaching the arms, put the hands together overhead. Or keep it low by stepping back and lunging. Reach overhead, reach overhead. Come on, reach. Three, two, and one. Quad burn, right? All right, moving in a different plane of motion. It's lateral jump to the side, single leg. Stay with two feet to start with, okay? So we'll progress. So like this, two feet always grounded, and then graduate to leap. Pick up the opposite knee. Sweep, sweep, sweep. So it's kind of like a skater but you're not tapping back. Keeping the hips squared to the front. And you go faster to increase the intensity. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Keep the knees side by side when you leap. Come on. Excellent work. Bring it down. Simple mountain climbers. Keep it low, you guys. In the beginning, we'll progress. I'll cue that. Feet up or knees down. Alternate like that. See that? And then take it up. Knee in. Press your fingers into the floor. Good. All right, cue. Quick, quick, quick. Okay, cue, faster. Press into the fingers. Come on, don't drop the head. 
three, two, and one. Oh, you guys, that was great. Okay, we're gonna take it into a jog like this. Stay light, light on your feet. You gotta pump your arms though. All right, butt kicks. So half and half, heels to glutes. You can also do this. You don't have to take it into that jog. Right there, or here. Half and half, five seconds. Zombie arms, knees up. Come on, come on. Lift those knees up, as high as your hip points. Come on. Three, two, and one. Whew. Active recovery. Lift it up. Keep moving. Little movement. Second round. Tap, tap. Start, start slow. Tap, tap. Knee, knee, ankle, ankle. You got it. Come on. Pick up your pace. Single time. Come on. Come on. Stay with me. You got it. Come on. Three, two, and one. Nicely done. Take it down. Here's our two push-ups to pike, our downward dog. So come onto your hands right here. Legs up. Two push-ups. One, two. Put your knees down if you're struggling with the push-ups. So chest down, push, chest down, push, downward dog. Do it again, right there. Downward dog. Hold downward dog if you need to longer to get the push-up done. Downward dog. Nicely done. Bring it in. Bird dog. I'm gonna turn this way, just to do it. Okay, spread your fingers. Extend the left leg, like that. All right? Left leg reach. Touch elbow to knee, and then touch foot to hand, or hand to foot. Knee to elbow, hand foot. Knee to elbow, or just try to reach. Maybe you're just balancing right there. Lots of core work going on here, you guys. A little bit of coordination. Keep pressing into the hand that's on the floor. Move the shoulder back, touch. Abs contracted, protect the lower back. Always touch, reach, elbow to knee. Touch, elbow to knee. All right, let's change sides. Okay, let's do it. Hands, right hand spread, left leg back, straight. See that? And then reach. Sorry, left hand on the floor. Touch right to left, and then touch the foot to the hand. Knee to elbow, foot to the hand, elbow. Good job, come on. Balance, challenge here. At least we're not in plank, guys. <laughs> Reach, touch, reach, in, reach, bring it back, reach, and in, good. 
Come on. Excellent work. Now we're going to bring it up. All right, shake it off. Here's your lunge with bringing the arms up overhead. So, lunge, lunge. So, on the lunge, bring the arms up together. Now, pick up your pace. Right there. Reach up, hands clap together overhead. Keep the knee in the front over the ankle. Now hop. Come on. Come on. Keep moving. Nicely done. All right, lateral jump. All right, different plane of motion. Skate to the side. Don't tap back behind though. Right there, right there. Okay, now hop, pick that opposite foot up. Use your arms, back flat, abs in, come on. Knees side by side, leap, 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 hold, 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 hold. Come on. You got it. Reach, reach, reach. Come on. Nicely done. Oh. All right, mountain climber. We'll get water later. Starting light, starting low. <laughs> All right, here we go. Slow by lifting the knees are modified. Abs in right there. Straighten the leg, straighten the leg. Ready, knees up, knee in, slow and controlled. Float between the thumbs, don't drop the head. Straight body. Ready? Cue quick. Cue quick, faster. Control. Try not to shift. Control. Abs in. Bring it up. Nicely done. Okay. March it out. Right there. Take it up to a butt kick. Right there. Shake it off. Pump your arms. Arms. All right, here we go. Heels up. Higher. Flex your feet. Butt kick. We'll finish with... High knees. You got it. Come on. Knees up. 10 seconds. Come on. Three, two, and one. Nicely done. Last round, bring your knees up, bring it up. So these rounds are, each move is at 45 seconds, 15 seconds between, bring it up. Now tap your knees, tap your ankles, knees, ankles, knees, <laughs> ankles, ankles. Knees quicker, knees, listen to that beat. You can make music, right? Come on, quicker. Oh. 
one more. Nicely done. Okay, so bring it down, two push-ups to pike. So as I was saying, 45 seconds on the move, 15 seconds between, so it's a minute. Seven minutes, because we got seven moves. So right here, push up twice, and then do a downward dog, or call that pike. Breathe. Maybe just stay there, <laughs> but just try. Push up. Pike. Do it again. Push up. And then pike. One more in you. Push up. Pike. Bird dog. Ready? All right. Left hand. Right arm, left leg. So one side, right? <laughs> I didn't mean to be confusing there. Reach the right arm, left leg out. Don't lift the leg up. Contract your abs, you guys. Reposition if you, your knee if you need to. Reach and then touch. Reach and touch. Reach and touch. Reach, touch. Reach. Touch. Almost there, you guys. So we got this. And other side. Spread your fingers. So as I was saying, four moves after this. Reach, left arm, right leg straight. Look up here if you need to. Press into your fingers. Shoulder plug back. Knee to elbow, just do that a few times first. Touch, touch, and reach. Now touch, reach, knee, foot, knee, foot, knee, foot. Good job, come on. Reach, touch, reach, knee. Out, in, reach, bring it in. Reach, touch, reach, knee in. Reach, touch, reach, knee in. Reach, touch, reach, and in. Good. <laughs> nice rhythm, you guys. All right. Bring it up. Rear lunge. Ready? So shoulders back. Start with your right leg back first and bring the arms up overhead. Ready? Go. Like that. Up, up overhead. Get your balance. Dip that knee to the floor, towards the floor. Don't touch though. All right, quicker. Arms working, shoulders. All right, take it to the hop. Come on. Nicely done. Okay. Changing, plane of motion, side to side. Stand up tall, shoulders back, and you're gonna leap over. Right, left. Start with that tap, like that. And lift, lift. So if you pause, that's where you really get the effect. Pause, pause. So it's quick, quick, quick. Landing on your foot. Good, come on. Quick, quick, quick. Come on. Come on. Side to side. Come on. Sweep your arms. 
excellent work. Okay, two more moves. And then we'll do some core work, okay? And then we'll be done Friday here on this recording. Right here. Mountain climbers, start like this. Maybe that's enough for you. Don't drop the head, right? Lift up, knees in. Flat back, don't lift your hips. Your straight line, your knee just hovers right over the floor as it comes in. Cue quicker, side to side. Press into your fingers. Remember, this is it. So push hard, I know you're working hard. All right, don't drop the head. Go, quick. Three, two, and one. All right. Okay, Light up, jog, arm march, shake it off. Keep that moving, keep that body going. That's why I'm here to help you. Butt kicks, just start to bring the heels close to the glutes, back there. Don't look down, bring them up higher. Pump the arms, come on. You got it. Come on. All right, knees forward. Finish strong. Arms forward. Come on. Come on, people. Stay with me. We're there. Nicely done. <laughs> okay, let's start our core training. Bring it to the mat. We'll go right into it. So we finish before 7.45. All right, if you're on this live with me, thank you again. Start. We might go for like two or three minutes, but that's because of stretching, okay? So rocking forearm plank. Your forearms are parallel, palms flat, Legs out straight, feet hip width apart, forward and back, rock. So that rocking movement just keeps you engaged. If you hold it static, the tendency is to lower the hips, right? So you keep your hips up so that you can rock. We're not up, hips neutral are at the same level as the shoulders. <laughs> Speak, Kelly. <laughs> so flat body, straight body. Press into the forearms, squeeze the thighs, press into your hands, your fingers, come on. Press, we got run one round of ab work, you guys, we got it. And then knees down. <sighs> Isolated crunches, so that means lie down on your back. So, legs up, hands to your sides, like this, lift, shoulders off the floor, chin neutral, legs straight, crunch, crunch. So gaze is at your, to your ankles, straight legs, as straight as you can get them, lift, so you're curling the shoulders up and then uncurling. Up, curl. Working the, the upper area of the abs, the rectus abdominis muscles, above the pelvis. All right. So now, combination move, bicycle. So legs like this, right? And you're gonna switch and switch, switch. Leg is out. Now to increase intensity, tap the opposite heel to the floor. If you can't do that, just angle the feet up higher and flex your feet. The whole time, flex your feet. Elbow across, across, across. So you're picking your shoulder blade up and turning the body right there. Look across the floor. Look across the floor. 
You got it. Come on. And nicely done. Hug the legs for a moment. Side plank. We've got the right and the left side. So come on to your forearm. You ready? So just one time, this form on the floor. So you can prop like this and lower and lift or bring the upper foot forward and the, lo the lower leg foot back behind. So staggering your feet, lower and left. Straight legs, open your body, right? Hand at your hip. Then hold it static right there. Tap the hip, tap, lift, tap, lift. Nicely done. Flip it around. On your forearm, I'll show you modification, right? Leg underneath and lower and lift. Maybe you just stay there. That's completely fine. You're working your, your obliques or stagger your feet. Lower and left. Open the chest to the side. Don't droop the right, the upper shoulder forward. Press into your form, press into your hand. Don't just lay in the elbow. Shoulder down. Come on. Three, two, and one. Excellent. Okay, so let's stretch. Nice. Are you excited? I am. Ha. <laughs> ah. Remember later on today, we'll do restorative yoga at 12 o'clock. Specifically, bring the leg up. But the restorative yoga is an athletic stretch. And that's just to, to really um, stretch out the main muscles that can be overworked and when exercising or if you're an athlete of a sport. So flex your foot, reach up and grab your toes so you're straightening the leg. So first, stretching the hamstring and then we'll stretch the hip and the lower back. So this leg straight up, toes pointing down or towards your face. All right, so now bend your knee. Reach your right arm over to the right. Bring this knee across to the other side. Work. And look over to the right. Center up your shoulders and turn your chin. If you can, get your foot on the floor, but keep your shoulders on the mat. You can reach your arms out like a T if you want to, or keep your hand right there on the knee. Pulling it across. Breathe. And maybe you reach the leg straight. Grab the toes. Straighten the opposite leg. Breathe. Slow and controlled breath. I want you to leave here feeling like you're energized. I don't want you to leave here feeling like you're, you've just you know, taking away your energy for the day. So that's why it's so important to cool down and also stretch and breathe. So that breath, intentional breathing, pull the leg in so this left leg is straight. Flex your foot. You can reach up and grab your toes maybe. If you have a strap, you can place a strap around your foot. So intentional breathing to... Breathing in deeply and exhaling out slowly to relax the central nervous system. We're halfway there, right? You feel your body just relaxing right here. The opposite leg is straight out. Bring this leg in. Now we're going to bring it across the body. So go ahead and reach your left arm. Bend your left knee. Leg comes across. Let me move my mic. Over. So get your leg over 
then even up your shoulders and turn your head over to the, <laughs> to the left. You can put your palm down and relax. Close your eyes, actually. So you can bring your arms out like a T or hand at the outside of the knee, adding that little tug, or grab your toes and straighten your leg. Relax the hips, you guys. Breathe in slowly and fully. Exhale, one more breath. Bend your knee and bring it up. Last stretch, you guys. Malasana, or, and then we'll bring it to a fold. So center of your mat. Or you can go in happy baby. Your choice. Elbows on the inside of your knees. Os oscillate a little, move around, feel your ankles, feel your knees, and then hold static, press, flat back, neutral spine, hands to your heart. All right, let's take this into a forward fold. Place your hands on the floor, press into the floor, parallel your feet, fold over. Try to bring your feet closer together, harder. A little more of a stretch. Straighten the legs. Reach your arms behind the, th the calves. Breathe. Then bring the hands to the thighs and stand all the way up. Inhale, reach up overhead. You did an amazing job. Thank you so much for showing up. Let me know if you did this program live or did it recording. I appreciate knowing that. And I hope you have a great one. Let me know if you need my help. All right? See you later. Bye.